The overall goal of this procedure is to produce haploid zebrafish embryos by in vitro fertilization. This is accomplished by first isolating mature sperm from adult male zebrafish and then performing ultraviolet irradiation to deactivate the paternal genomes present in the sperm samples. The second step is to isolate unfertilized eggs from an adult female zebrafish. Next, the eggs are fertilized with the UV inactivated sperm sample. The final step is to rear the haploid clutch until developmental analysis, such as a morphology assay or gene expression analysis, using whole mount in situ hybridization. The main advantage of using haploid zebrafish embryos is that this technique enables efficient forward genetic screens that use fewer generations, thus saving time and animal space. This method can help answer fundamental questions in the development field, such as identifying genes that are essential for kidney formation. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because the collection of zebrafish gametes can have technical challenges. Visual demonstration of this method is critical because it will help researchers to learn how to handle adult zebrafish to collect mature gametes. To begin, prepare the Hanks stock solutions and Hanks premix solution. Next, select the desired number of adult zebrafish females for haploid clutch collection. Once selected, Prepare mating cages by placing each adult zebrafish female with an adult zebrafish male in a chamber of system water so that they are separated by a divider overnight. First, make fresh Hank stock solution number 6.